Good morning. Good morning, Facebook family and friends. I, I'm here. I'm a little early. What I'm doing is I am recording us our half hour morning walk for YouTube also. So, I came early. Hi, how y'all doing? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone slept well. Yes, oh, good morning. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. Uh, yeah, I got the phone. My daughter got me the phone. So, uh, I'm recording for Instagram and YouTube. And um, let's see. For our half hour morning walk, let's get Betsy warmed up so we can start our walk. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook land, Instagram land, and YouTube land. This is our half hour morning walk in the basement of the house my daughter owns, <laughs> where I live. <laughs> And this is all thanks to my daughter, old, Be old Betsy, the uh, treadmill. Hold on. I tried to get um, selfie tripods. I ordered two the first time from eBay. And they took the money, but then they said that the order didn't go through. So I ordered another copy, another two selfie tripods from eBay. And I got nothing. So <laughs> as I have rigged up our thing for the camera for Facebook, I just rigged up something to record our half hour morning walk with family and friends for YouTube and Instagram. And yeah, we're walking. Wow. Okay, I gotta get this out. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Well, when you get old, I know this too. I know this so well. Your skin becomes almost like cray paper. And I know this. But I had a band-aid on my arm. Long story. And I caught myself ripping it off. And boy did it take the skin with it. I've been apologizing to myself. I've been saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, of course, I cleaned it out with peroxide. I put the AD ointment on it and I slapped that protective band aid on it because they also said, for well, us old people, what do you call it? Some kind of septic thing is because we get cuts and stuff like that and we don't clean it up. But, honey, I have never lived in the house as an adult that didn't have alcohol, peroxide, or some kind of bacterial. Thing. Even for my daughter's scrapes and fall, of course I couldn't let her know I had band-aids because the first time I made that mistake, she did everything but throw herself down the stairs to get a band-aid. So then, I still had band-aids but I had to hide them. And so, I passed myself up. But, I kept saying, oh, of course I wanted to heal. So, I, I say I'm sorry. And I want you to heal. Um, I look back at the camera on YouTube because, like I said, I didn't get my tripod. And that's my rig. So it's kind of like a side view, back view of watching me walk on the treadmill. Not this personal thing that I have with Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. <laughs> but eventually I will get it. And if someone wants to walk on YouTube, it's good enough. So I have to get a, uh, a selfie tripod, but 
I'm not gonna order it again. I got four. <laughs> I got four on order. <laughs> Nothing got here. <laughs> but uh, so we'll go with what we got. Now, just because it's YouTube, it's our first half hour complete walk with on YouTube that I'm gonna upload. We walk for a half hour, and we walk slow for the muscles. We have a fast portion on YouTube, and we go into that fast part of our walk after we do 15 minutes here. Then we take a water break, we come back, we do a fast walk. I used to run, if you want to run. And then we slow it down, we do some hand exercises, we do a little weight, arm thing, and then the half hour walk is over and we're healthier. But, oh, I have to share with y'all. Oh, we're at five minutes already. Look how fast that walk is. Ooh, child. I put up some pictures because I was cleaning out my phone because I had to do the transfer thing with the new phone. And I put up a picture of you on my Facebook page with me with the 203 area code from Fly Gear. That's from Tyree Welch out of Port Chester. I knew Tyree when he was in high school. I think that's when I met his mother, when he was in high school. And he's an entrepreneur. I mean, if you go to my neighbor's page on my Facebook page, you'll go in and he and his cousin did the theme song for the show Neighbors, where we teach the basics of chess through music, movement, and song. And um, that's, that's Tyree. He designs the fly yet. He does painting. He is ever so talented. He's always been. Um, so I found that picture. And I said, let me put it up. And that picture was taken maybe six months before we realized we were in quarantine and well before the quarantine started and um, my two, 2019 I was going to Planet Fitness, I was working out with the trainer and John was the type of trainer where if he saw you, you had to work out so he was working me out and he was doing it it was wonderful. And I posted that picture up. And then I looked at it and I almost had to bat back tears. I, in that eight months of being locked down or more, and me just trying to go to the garage or work out and do a little something, it really wasn't enough. And you can clearly see from that picture in this, wow, just wow. I can't even say it. I must have put on at least, in that picture, I was so happy because I had lost 15 pounds and was steadily losing weight. And then... Corona's couldn't go to the gym anymore. John wasn't working me out. And and then my daughter, she got old Betsy. But Betsy was in the garage. And if you look back on some of my old video on my Facebook page, you'll see that I was out in the garage trying to do a little something, something. But it wasn't enough. I needed to do something either three times a week or every day. Now, I came up with my age. What's appropriate for me? What's something I can do and do and do every day? Every day, every day to get stronger, to get healthier, to start that weight loss program again and everything. And, uh, walking. So, I didn't find walkers 
And if I did, they weren't, didn't look like me. Or if they looked like me, they was my age. And I remember Maya Angelou said, in reference to a book, if there's a book you want to read that you can't find out there, write it yourself. So, if you want someone to exercise, to do something that you can do every day for the rest of your life and you can't find it, do it or be that person yourself. And that's where morning walk with family and friends come from. We squeeze in the gut and I tell you, none too soon. That whole corona thing of getting that work weight when you just stop your life like that, like throw on the brakes. I've been going to the gym consecutively for well over 15 years. And then all of a sudden, ah, breaks. And I'm still eating like I'm going to the gym, but I'm not going to the gym. Wow. So to look at that picture and to look at me now, I got to tell you, I had to say, I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Because I would never put that weight on me like that. I, it's just everything hit, hit the brakes. Well, anyway, that's what I'm going to do for grades. Now, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, we are walking. We are walking. Every morning at 7 o'clock, we walk. So, YouTube, I'll work out the kinks where I don't have to look behind me. Because it's like we're walking, but Facebook is walking beside me. Instagram, YouTube, are walking a little on the side of the back. <laughs> but we're doing it. And we do it every morning, except Sundays. And I'm trying to think of adding on bikes somewhere. We'll see how that goes. Yes, we're 11 minutes already. This walk is good for us. It is healthy. And... It is brief. Though we warm up before we walk. I have like a whole 25 minute walkout. Warm up I do. But I used to do that same 25 minute warm up when I was going to the gym. So. But. Oh, I can tell you. I look at that picture and I was like. Good job, Vicky. So now. I want to say good job, Vicky, again. So that's why we walk every morning at 7 o'clock. Now, I can't go live on two, YouTube because I don't have, like, thousands of people following me. <laughs> um, I don't think that's going to happen, especially if my whole thing is walking and exercising. <laughs> but I can upload the videos. So... I'll go live on Facebook and upload on YouTube. And I got everything ready for my juice. You'll see on the break that I got my beet tea back. And the beet tea just comes from the fact that the beets are so hard on my juicer when you do the juices and we don't have the modern thing. I just don't say, boy, she ain't got nothing modern. <laughs> Oh, I'm Martin. <laughs> In an old kind of way. Um, so, I just boil the water. And I basically dip it in there like tea. But, you know, nutrients and stuff comes out because of that process. And then I take it and I cut it up uh, for the processor. So, that's where I'm at now.
Yes. There's a minute before, 15 minutes is up, and then we take our water break. And this will be the first time taking our water break uh, with YouTube and Instagram, Facebook. So, family and friends encourage me. That's why I do this. Because I have family and friends that encourage me by coming into the room or coming into the live and sending me hearts and flowers and comments and different things like that of support and that helps me to keep going. And then I hear that I'm helping other people, which is excellent. So that also keeps me going. And uh, squeeze your gut, don't put the weight on your knees. And we're halfway through our walk already. This is the beauty of it. Half hour walk and we're halfway through it already. All right, uh, we gotta take a break. YouTube knows about our break. Oh, the first half of this walk was brought to you by a book I wrote called I Like to Say Yes. Keep the word yes in your child's vocabulary by reading I Like to Say Yes to your child. I Like to Say Yes has brightly colored pages with boldly dressed children running, jumping, playing. Yes, 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 I like to say yes. And the first part of this book, Do You Love Mommy? Yes, because you teach them that. You teach them that. I worked in the daycare, and not a lot of kids said, I love you, Mommy. They say, oh, I want, I want my mommy, but not love. I did teach my daughter to say she loved me. And I say I love her because I need it and she needs it. Okay, this is our water break. Hey, Instagram, YouTube. This is, this is the tea. This is the BT. I'm going to have the juice, but I'm not going to make the juice this afternoon. I hit my gum out. And... The beets make my stomach feel good. Let me give it. Let me give it a rinse. <laughs> I was like, so and it tastes good too. It really tastes good. <laughs> oh great! Good thing I'm not driving. I got that backsplash from the water, alkali water. We run it through a filter. Now we do our fast five minute walk it used to be a run but um just want to get the, the camera straight okay are we ready let's do our fast walk five minutes Squeeze your gut. It's like marching real fast. I know it's good for my calves. And squeeze your gut.
where to put my arms down by my side. I was using my like this to help on the fast walk. I switch back and forth. But squeeze your gut. Don't put the weight on your knees or your hip. Engage your core. Engage your core. Squeeze your gut. Less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. Less than a minute. Squeeze your gut. Now some of y'all may be running while I'm walking. That's good, y'all are young. I could be an encouragement to you. That's good. But for us all, we just want to do a little cardio and go back fast. Cardio. Hey, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Hey, look at this. Some deep breaths. Woo! Lift the arms in the air. Yes. That wasn't too bad, right? Woo! But I tell you, sometimes it's cool in the basement in the morning when I come down. But I know once I get heated, you know. And, yeah, I looked at that picture, and I was like, oh, that's how it was before the pandemic. And now I'm like 25 pounds heavier. I'm going to be, good morning, things are coming through. I'm going to be one of them old people that they say is dying because of the whole situation with Corona. I was like, I ain't going out like that. No one I know of now. But who supports that 45 new people? It's hard for me to go to the doctor's office. <laughs> they don't like me. 
I know, that's just the way I think. So something says just start exercising. Y'all, so in the evening, a couple times a week, I jump on my bike. I'm fighting for my life. I ain't gonna lay down. I ain't gonna lay down so you cut me up. I ain't gonna lay down for you do. Yeah, I'm not laying down. Because when you lay down, people step on you. <laughs> Woo! Yes, they do. Now, YouTube, this is your first time here, but Facebook know it. We always check. Squeeze your gut. Don't put the weight on your hips or your knees. Engage your stomach. Engage your core. Let's check our connections. Is the protons and the neutrons firing? Is the protons and the neutrons firing? Is the message getting in to the ends? In the morning, when I do my stretches, I do a yoga, yoga thing where I can bend my toes back. So, and then I sit up and I wiggle my toes and stuff. So I do make sure that the connection reaches all the way to my toes. And this I do because hands are important. <laughs> They've been with me a long time. So this is what I'm doing with my hands. apologize to myself. I'm just, we'll just rip it off. Listen, when my skin was thick, yeah, I could. Now with this spray paper I got, when I just snatch it off, skin come. I'm still learning. I ain't never been this age before. I'm still learning. But I don't want to do nothing to mess myself up. So right away, as soon as I did it, I said, oh my God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. At first I said, I love you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And then I said, heal. Just heal. Just let the body heal it. I'm going to make some mistakes, but I don't do them on purpose. And I do love me. So, I just ain't going to be ripping off no more band-aids. I'll be going in the shower and letting the water get in the band-aid and let it slide off like normal. Yeah. So, I, at this age, in my late 50s, I've always tracked my healing rate, and in my mid-40s to mid-50s, I was at seven to nine minutes, I mean, seven to nine minutes, seven to nine days, from 55 to where I am now, my healing time is about 10 days, 10, 11 days. And uh, so now I gotta give it time to heal. I can't believe I did that. I just ripped the bandaid off. Oh, lady, what is wrong with you? I don't know. What... That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you forget that you're older, that you're a senior adult, and that you do have cray paper for a skin. And you do stuff like rip off a band-aid. And then you learn you can't do that anymore. And then you're at the age where you can care about yourself. This is the age where you can wear all those other stripes and stuff you don't carry. And you have all that time to focus. You gotta focus on raising the kids, picking up from the babysitters. 
Ah, people are still in a relationship that do it. Good morning, thanks for coming through. Facebook family on the front line. And uh on the front line. <laughs> and you do do things, but when you apologize to yourself and acknowledge that you did this, and you take the steps to rectify it, yourself is the first one to forgive you and start the healing process. After I put the peroxide on, and the ointment, and slept in no pain whatsoever. No pain. Well, well, good morning. Good morning. See, so I forgave myself. So the healing process starts. So if you snip yourself and you cut yourself, just don't ignore it. When you stuck in here, you say, mm, I'm sorry. Oh, come ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And you, you pray that it'll start healing because it's like, it was an accident. But when you say, oh, what's wrong with me? <coughs> oh, what's wrong with me? I'm always doing things on that. It takes longer to heal. Let me get some water, y'all. It's dry in this here basement. Yes. Okay. Yes, I say it all the time. Eventually, you're going to look over and I'm going to have me some orange 5 to 10 pound barbells, which is a heck of a cry from the 20 and 25 pound ball barrels I used to lift. Anyway, it's keeping me alive. Okay, for YouTube and Instagram, the first time we do this exercise, we suck in our gut, engage our core, we tuck our arms in, and we do 15. I don't think I did the one for good luck. Yeah, Ooh, we're almost finished. Let's get our theme song. This is our theme song, YouTube, Instagram. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. Just for me, I'm walking. Thank you for the company. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. So happy to be walking. Thank you for the company. I'm walking, yes indeed, I'm walking and talking to you, I'm walking, thank you for the company, whoo, yes, and our half hour walk is officially over, thank you, thank you for your support, Thank you, Facebook. Hey, Diane, thanks. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane, your kind words. Oh, thank you, Joan, you're so sweet. Y'all say I look fabulous. Oh, thank you. I was feeling a little down when I looked at that picture from 2019. Anyway, I don't want to stay longer than a half hour. Love you. See you tomorrow morning.